For some reason, you don't think that you deserve any type of respect so you evoke the high value man. You don't think you deserve a woman to treat you with dignity, a woman to treat you with honor, a woman to treat you like a real man, a woman to respect you, respect your mind, respect your masculinity. You don't think you deserve any of this, so you evoke the high value man. You tell her what she would do if she was with a high value man. Well, you the one talking to her, my brother. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. You know the high value man argument. It's like telling a woman what Chinese men like. And you neither the woman are Chinese and y'all not in China. At a certain point, you brothers are gonna have to realize that that is a self-defeating argument. That means nothing to women. It's why this woman laughs so hard about Andrew Tate talking about the women of Romania. And y'all talking about, oh, women breaking down over passport, brother, losing their mind. No, she's mocking you. She's mocking you. They think that what you are doing is funny. They think it's hilarious that you are sitting here talking about what the women in Romania are doing and neither one of y'all are Romanian and y'all not in Romania. But this whole high value man concept is the same way. You can, while you evoking something and arguing from a position that you yourself do not hold. While you arguing about a designation or type of man that you yourself are not. What is the point of that? Why are you telling women what high value man want and what they don't want, what they would and would not accept? Why are you arguing from that point of view when a woman looking at you would never think that you are a high value man? What's the point of it? What's the end goal of it? What are you trying to get out of it? You're still not going to get that woman to respect you as a man in your situation or condition. You're not going to get her to respect you and where you are in life by talking about some mythical straw man that was created out of the fabrication, uh, out of the racist fabricated minds of white men. I get tired of telling y'all, they are always trying to come up with some default way to claim to be better than other people. It's what they do. From white supremacy to white nationalism to social economics to education, they have always tried to come up with some default way to say, I am better than you just because I am this. Because that's what they want to do. They want to claim to be better by something that they can claim and not based on them actually being better human beings. They don't want to be better human beings. They just want to be better based off of some default mechanism. And all of you dudes are now caught up in that mindset and y'all sitting around here arguing based on this fabrication by racist white men that no matter how much money you have, black man, they will never see you as a high value man. But all y'all sitting online arguing from this point of view to what end? When a woman can look at you and see that you are not that. You don't have it like that. I mean, can you at least fake it? Can you at least do what your godfather, the image consultant did? Can you at least look nice or decent in a suit? Can you at least pretend to be this? Can you afford the costume jewelry, the bling and stuff, you know, to make yourself look good? Can you at least look like a high value man to some degree? I'm too thuggies, I ain't trying to look like nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I am content with who I am and what I am. I ain't trying to be nobody high value, nothing. But guess what? A woman gonna respect me. Woman gonna respect me. Woman ain't about to play with me. She gonna, she gonna bow or she gonna walk. You know what I'm saying? She gonna get in line, she gonna get out of line and, and go about her business. It's just that simple. I don't play that. But since y'all depend on the, on, on, on the concept of the high value man, I'm asking you to what end? What is the point of it? 
Why are y'all arguing based off something that don't even exist? Because you don't have a high value man talking. All y'all do is talk about the high value man, but y'all never hear the high value man himself come out and talk. You know why? Because he don't exist. He don't exist. Like I said, unless y'all consider somebody like Andrew Tate to be a high value man who still can't walk around with a dime piece on his arms. He still can't get a, 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 a real good looking woman on his arms. Because women don't like assholes. It don't matter how you chop it up, man. It don't matter how much money you got. It don't matter how famous you are. Women don't like assholes. They just don't like them. They don't like little pouty dudes. And I know Tate is a fighter, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 know he's not a, I know he's not a soft man, per se, but he's pouty. He's pouty. I mean, you know, for what it is, mean, be honest, he's, he's, he, he looks like an old typical big boy. Woman ain't gonna like that dude. I don't care what he say. He can sit there with his, you know, he got a nice tating shape too. You know, he got a nice shape and stuff. He can sit down, shirt off, puffing on cigars, looking apart all he want. It won't matter because women won't respond to him like that. And you are not a high value man unless women respond to you like that. So you could talk about what high value men want and don't want, what men of means and men of money and men of options want and don't want. But if women are not responding to you like that, then you are not that kind of man. I don't care if you broke or rich or somewhere in between. If women are not responding to you like that, you are not that kind of man. Most of you dudes don't even have a stable of women that you're dating. Most of you dudes don't even have two women that you're dating. Yeah, y'all only have one. But y'all sit online all day and talk about what the high value man want, what the man of means want, while you struggling to pay rent. Y'all live in a fantasy, man. It's time for y'all to come into the real world and deal with women from where you are as a man. Deal with them honestly. They are supposed to respect you if they like you. Now, now I'm gonna get into that in another video. They don't owe you anything, but they will give it to you if they feel that way towards you. But they're not gonna feel that way towards a man that, that, that's sitting up here in some kind of delusion where he sees himself through some kind of vicariously, he sees himself vicariously through the reality of a straw man, another figment of imagination. Man, I mean, just imagine the mind fuck that this is. You living vicariously through a straw man. God. And y'all wonder why y'all struggle. You wonder why y'all struggle. You are going to struggle if you are living vicariously through a straw man, bro. Because y'all think that these women that make fun of y'all, y'all y'all can spin and twist this all y'all want about how delusional they is and how, how hurt, look, how hurt, look, they losing their mind. They not losing their minds, my brothers. They're not losing their mind. They are making a mockery of you because they can see clearly that you are living vicariously through something else. Now, in their minds, maybe such a man does exist. They don't, they're not sure either. But they know they never seen one. They know they never met one. They know that that's not the law of averages. They know that the chances of them meeting one is slim. So it doesn't matter what he wants. It doesn't matter what he demands. It doesn't matter what he likes or don't like or whatever. It don't matter. They know that the chances that they'll meet this mythical man is slim to none. So they don't care. And truth be told, a lot of these women not looking for those kinds of men. They are content in the world where they are. The only person that's not content in the world where they are is you, my brother. Because you're living in a fantasy. I'm trying to snap you out of this here psychosis, this, this, this mass delusion. Stop living through some kind of mass concept and live your life based on you and your reality. Because what you are is still what you are and women still gonna treat you the way they feel towards you. Your thing is to get you to a point from in here that causes women to interact with you differently. You wanna raise your energy level up to the level of a God so that when women come into your presence, they talk to you, behave towards you and deal with you in a more respectful manner. 
You are not going to get that while evoking this straw man of the high value man and you want this woman to bow to you based on that. It's not. Can y'all even hear, do y'all even hear yourselves? I mean, come on, black man. Come on, my brothers. Do y'all even think about how stupid that is for y'all to be sitting online all day telling women what a high value man won't while you working at McDonald's? Well, well, you know, you should be working at McDonald's. You have a career. Well, where you work at? All y'all sit online like y'all balling out of control when, when we know the law of averages. Again, we, we know the medium income. We know most of y'all ain't balling no better than nobody else. Do y'all not realize that if you start even getting into the millionaire that low end millionaire status, you in the five percentile. That should tell you that most people don't make that kind of money. So while you trying to live through the life of those few people, you are here with the masses. You are here with the majority. What are you gonna tell this woman here in the majority with you? What are you gonna tell her to get her to respect you as a man in your reality? Because the chances that you will get to that point is slim to none. And the chances that she'll ever actually meet one of them dudes is slim to none. And the chances that she will actually like the dude regardless of what he got is even slimmer. That don't make a man attractive like y'all think. Y'all are in a delusion, man. It, it, it's like a gospel, man. It's, it's dogma. And I mentioned that before, it's dogma. Y'all got to get out of this religion that y'all are in. This religion of the high value man. Y'all got to get away from it, man. Y'all got to get out of this, bro. I mean, y'all don't listen to yourselves. Y'all sit here all day and talk about what this man won't. And that man never speaks for himself because that man don't exist. Don't exist. These men never say a word. Well, they don't say a word because they're too busy living. Well, how y'all know what they want? If they ain't telling you what they want, expect how they live or do things, how you know what they want? Y'all got to stop looking at people's lives from the outside. Y'all got to stop thinking that y'all understand anything from the outside. You can't peek through somebody's window and think you know what goes on in their house. Stop it, bro. Deal with women based on where you are in life. Deal with women based on where you, your reality. This is your reality. You are, you are in the averages. She is in the averages. Y'all are the same. She is not going to meet no man that's above average. You may not become, I'm, I'm talking about financially, or whatever, whatever y'all, however y'all measure this high value man. He's above average. Most of you, and way above average. Most of you are never going to become something above average in any kind of way. She will never meet a man that's above average in any kind of way. I mean, not any kind of social economic way. Yeah, we have a lot of above average men and women character wise, but we don't have a lot of uh, uh, above average men and women in other ways, in social economic ways. College degrees are so common that it's not even worth mentioning no more. So, I mean, my point to all this, my brothers, is that we got to escape this religion, this, this mass delusion of the high value man and start talking to women from where we are. For some reason, you don't think that you deserve any type of respect so you evoke the high value man. You don't think you deserve a woman to treat you with dignity, a woman to treat you with honor, a woman to treat you like a real man, a woman to respect you, respect your mind, respect your masculinity. You don't think you deserve any of this, so you evoke the high value man. You tell her what she would do if she was with a high value man. Well, you the one talking to her, my brother. You are the one talking to her. She is not talking to a high value man. She is talking to you. So how about you tell me about you? How about, how about we talk about you? Not the high value man. Let's talk about you. What is it that you want? What is it that you expect? What is it that you demand? But most importantly, first thing first, you got to believe that you deserve it. And that's really the problem. 
you are low on yourself. You don't like yourself, but then you want a woman to like you. It don't work that way, bro. You gotta first believe that you deserve certain things, that you are worthy of certain treatments. You gotta believe that. And you can't believe it in the, in the sense of entitlement based on some type of Eurocentric, patriarchal um, way of viewing relationships. It's not, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about as a human being, which means you gotta be willing to give to her every respect, every consideration, every consensus that you demand of her or that you expect of her. You gotta be willing to give it also because she too is a human being. And then the differences in our genders will come into play. The masculinity and femininity, then they will start intertwining like the yin and yang. And then you start getting that perfect harmony going. But it won't come into play as long as one or the other or both enter into this relationship or enter in this dealing from the position of entitlement, from the position of you supposed to do this just because, because that's what the high value man thing is. It don't work. It don't work. So I'm telling my brothers, avoid this mass delusion, avoid this religion of the high value man. You will get a woman to deal with you a certain way once you believe that a woman should. Once you carry yourself with dignity, honor, uh, carry yourself with class, a woman is gonna to respond to that. People respond to you based on how you are. Believe it or not, that's true. You do have some people try you and, you know, try to play you left, you know what I'm saying? But most of the time, people are gonna to respond to you based off the energy that you give off. So try to develop a different philosophy about yourself. Forget about what the high value man want, what he is, how he looks. Forget about that. What do you want? If I'm looking in the mirror, my question will be right now, Kush, what is it that you want out of life? What kind of woman is it that you want out of life? What are the characteristics and traits of a female that you look for in life? I am talking to you. You should be looking in the mirror, talking to yourself. And once you figure it out, my brother, start moving within that energy. Start moving within that energy, but understand you are dealing with a, 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 another human being. You're dealing, you're not dealing with property. You're dealing with a human being. Understand that when you go into it and you will be okay. Just think about it. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha Salon.